All right, guys, so I've been driving around the golf cart and uh, I drove by Mass Motorsports a couple times because I figured that was an LS motor and I was like, why are they out here with an LS motor? But then I actually looked and I was like, wait, that's a Godzilla motor. And we're here with Jason and uh, Jason, what do we have? So uh, this is our debut of uh, the Ford uh, Godzilla engine and uh, you know we're, we're known for LS performance and uh, we said hey that, that Godzilla is pretty badass so why don't we do that so uh, about two years ago we started uh, researching and finding the engines and uh, um, working really hard to get the control systems done and the cams and the, the horsepower and the CNC ported heads and just kind of worked at it didn't really promote it and uh, did a lot of testing, a lot of validation, and uh, here we are today at Ford Fest uh, debuting our, our Ford product line. Can you tell me what exactly is this? Sure. So, you know, because it's definitely not a crate motor. Right, it's definitely not a crate motor. So this is the uh, the base level Godzilla that you can buy from your your G or your uh, sorry your uh, Ford dealer. And uh, you got to get used to the I, Ford. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So it's been, G uh, it's been GM a long time. Right, it's been GM for us a long time, but uh, <laughs> it's such a badass deal we had to do it. Um, so this is a crate engine from Ford. We buy them from the dealership. Uh, we bring them in. We take off the. Uh, parts that we don't need uh, we, we do a crank and rod pistons um, so we balance the crank to the rods and piston forge piston forge uh, forge rods we CNC port the heads put our cam our our custom billet cam core our VVT lockout converter in it and uh, CNC port the heads and um, what we get is a 675 horse turn turnkey uh, Godzilla. Hold on, how much horsepower? 675 on that one. So you're over 200 more than factory. Yeah, roughly. Wow. And these are available when? Uh, we're shipping now. So this is actually sold. Our be careful, that's hot. Uh, our customers picking it up on Wednesday. Wow. So this is going in a uh, uh, a Cobra, believe it or not. Nice. We've got another one that's going in an Ultra 4 car, and uh, we have one that's going in a 69 crew cab F350 that's supercharged at 1300 horse. Wow. So, what, um, what's this right now, this setup over here cost? Uh, this one, turnkey, ready to go with the ECM's 15.5. That's really not bad. That's not bad. And what's probably the turnaround on them? Like if somebody called you tomorrow and said, hey, I want one as soon as I can, what's the average? Yeah, right now we're about six to eight weeks turnaround. That's great. But uh, we're taking orders and uh, uh, all of the parts are in stock and we've got it validated and figured out. So. so where can everybody go to check you out? Sure, go to massmotorsports.com. Uh, click on Factory Mass, which is the product line for our Godzilla, and check it out. Awesome. I'm going to show them a little close-up of this baby. Mm -hmm. Dude, that is so rad. I'm assuming it's on an engine stand, so does that mean it runs? It absolutely does. Can we maybe hear it? Yeah, you want to hear it? I would love to hear it. Are you sure? I, I oh. know I do. You guys, right. if All you're not right. wearing headphones, or you are, be careful. they're working with Harrop and they're gonna be uh, getting the supercharged versions about 1300 horsepower and they're gonna be a crate motor as well yeah yeah do the and everything yep. already? yeah here's the cams that we offer right here and the heads that we offer and the valve train stuff yeah appreciate it man yeah thank you now that we got some of this stuff out over here can you tell me what is why these are the best parts or why people should call you to get them sure so uh this is a usa made custom billet core camshaft um it's our proprietary design we design it to take out the vvt so it strengthens up the hub front hub area where the holes were previously for the oil passages for the vvt uh, we have a custom designed front phaser 
So that's a lockout, but it's also an adjustable timing, so you can adjust the cam timing of your engine. Wow. Um, so it's a, it's a locked out, adjustable. What are you doing, man? Uh, How are you, bro? Factory, so. You all right? Um, How you been? There's a lot better performance, a lot higher there? RPM capability, a lot better durability. So. Nice. And then, what about the pistons? Sure, so this is a, uh, we worked with Wiseco on a uh, forged aluminum piston. Uh, we wanted to do is offer a really beefy ribbed up piston right here. All of these features so that it would handle all the boost and all the performance that we want to do to it. So this piston is capable of about 1300 horsepower. Wow. So, so this is going to be, you run this in that motor? Yes. Yeah. And then this is going to be the same piston you're going to run in the Absolutely. supercharged? Absolutely. We, we just didn't want to have any risk and uh, oh. just wanted to beef it up. So wow. if guys buy this as a great engine from us, ready to go. If they ever want to boost in the future, it's ready to rock. That's awesome. And what else do we have over here? So one of the uh, nice rods. One of the K1 Technologies rods, bushed, sleeved, it matches up with this piston really nicely. And then we balance the crankshaft so that it's it's the right bob weight and it's the right weight for the, for the crank and it just fits really nice. And I'm assuming every one of your crate motors get tested in house. A hundred percent. Everything that we do, if you send us your engine to convert and, and make it run with our ECM, it goes through our dyno and QC process to make sure everything's right. So that's a possibility. If someone Absolutely. already has the motor because they bought it but they can't figure yep. it out, they can ship it to you. Ship it to us. Really? We, we can retrofit it to make all the internal changes to make the ECU work. Uh, we quality check it, validate it, leak check it on our dyno. Wow. Uh, comes wow. with a base tune. So and then we offer all the tuning services yeah. on the back side. Um, and 100% validated. That's awesome. And then I'm assuming this is an exhaust. Yeah, so because you guys are swapping them in cars and vehicles and trucks, uh, we wanted to come out with a really nice flange that's already matched up to the bolt pattern for the Godzilla. So you can mount your own headers, you can do your own pipes. That's just a nice flange that goes right on the engine. So now you can build your own header kit. But also, we offer swap mounts. So guys that want to put these awesome engines in your trucks or your cars or whatever. You got a couch, you want to move, make you go Yeah, we, we have these do-it-yourself builder kits that nice. mount to the Godzilla. Has a really nice uh, rubber bushing here. The flange, so all you have to do is mount that into your frame and that into your engine and you're ready to go. So. And they're universal, so you can flip them around and move them, different different mounting points for your chassis. But just a really nice little kit here that you weld together and easy to make it swap in your car. And what makes this, uh, this cylinder head so special since you have it over here, I'm assuming that there's Yeah, so our, our primary uh, product line is cylinder heads. So this runs through our custom cylinder head shop. So we take the battery casting, we CNC port it, and we do a nice blow, blow bend right here. We CNC the chambers to make them uniform, re-valve job the valves, and just open up the port to improve flow. That's awesome. So, it offers about 50 CFM increase over the stock. Wow. CFM is 700 lift. Wow. So we tap that all off with our Beehive kit and our titanium retainer. So that's capable of up to 7,000 RPM. Dude, that's nuts. So in the beginning, this was going to be part of my regular show segment, but now this is a separate video. So you guys make sure you want one of these really having some fun over there so hopefully you can hear me but if you want one of these head over to askmotorsports.com as always if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you like the content subscribe to the channel we'll see you in the next one